Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to the Simply Viral channel. Today guys, we are jumping back into the world of Fortnite to take a look at some more Season 6 news, leaks, rumors, and more information. As it stands today guys, we are now officially more than halfway through Season 5 of Fortnite Battle Royale with the Season 5 Week 5 challenges releasing yesterday. Now that we're past Week 5 and those challenges are officially out, that means we have crossed over the halfway point and we are now officially on the road to Fortnite Battle Royale Season 6. But before we go ahead and jump into all of the new news leaks and rumors, be sure you guys are subscribed to the Simply Viral channel and make sure you guys have our notifications turned on. That way, every single time we upload a new video, YouTube sends you a message letting you know that a new video has gone live. If you guys are already a part of the notification squad, be sure to let us know as well by commenting down below, I subscribed or hashtag notification squad for your chance to be featured in our daily video shout out where you guys get your name and comment on the screen for a little bit and get yourself in a video and finally last but not least if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to let us know by leaving a like rating on it so we can keep making more content like this now without further ado guys let's go ahead and jump in and talk about some more Fortnite Battle Royale Season 6 Leaks and Rumors. So just the other day, we actually uploaded a video talking about more Season 6 Leaks and Rumors. We were more so focusing on the storyline in that video, so if you guys missed that, be sure to go and check it out. We really focused in on what the mystery was behind the different road trip challenges and who was going to be revealed to us in Week 7 from the road trip challenges. It turns out the guy who's going to be revealed is going to be named The Traveler, and he's actually here to help close rifts and portals around the Fortnite map. Of course, we have all of the different stone heads scattered around the map and we've also got the giant rift in the sky the traveler is going to be coming and closing those rifts apparently according to some leaked in-game files however we don't want to focus on that too much in this video we want to focus more on some different rumors going around about season 6 of Fortnite so if you guys are unaware season 5 which we're in right now is set to end on September 25th 2018 which is a Tuesday meaning that season 6 of Fortnite will either start on September 26th the Wednesday or September 27th the Thursday following and that means that, of course, if it's starting at the end of September, it's going to run through the whole month of October, as well as some part of November. And of course, guys, if you were around last year during October playing Fortnite Battle Royale, you guys know that two of the most iconic things in this game dropped, that being the Skull Trooper and the Ghoul Trooper skins. Now, does that mean that they are going to be coming back guaranteed this year? No. However, there are a lot of different possible fan theories about what's going to be releasing this October along with the Season 6 Battle Pass. I would have to guess if anything is going to be released that's similar to the Skull Trooper, it's more so going to be a Skull Trooper V2. And I say that because... A lot of players are really, I guess, defensive if they've already had these rare skins for a while. If you are an OG player, you're probably in the same boat. If you have the cool OG skins that no one else has, you want to keep those skins. You want to keep them because they're rare. You want to show them off because they're rare. However, if the Skull Trooper and the Ghoul Trooper and the Scythe and everything were to be re-released into the item shop, you already know everybody is going to be buying those skins. So they're not going to be rare anymore. They're not going to be fancy or special at all anymore. However, what if rather than re-releasing the Skull Trooper, we got an updated new and improved Skull Trooper V2 skin, either as the Tier 100 for the Battle Pass in Season 6 or as just the Special Event going on around Halloween later in October. I think both of these are pretty plausible. Let me know which one you guys would rather see. Would you rather see Skull Trooper as like a tier 100 unlock in the battle pass or just an item shop item? Either way, it is quite possible that we see some sort of Skull Trooper similar skin or a Skull Trooper remake skin returning at some point in season six. Now you guys heard me mention earlier that season 6 is most likely going to run through some part of November, meaning that it's not going to run through the whole winter season. And I want to mention this because it's been rumored a lot that in the future we're going to get some sort of snow addition to the map. Of course, we already have the Viking Village on top of the mountain outside of Greasy Grove, which has some snow on it. However, we don't have like an official snow biome or snow area on the map. Of course, we just got our brand new desert area with Paradise Palms at the start of season 5. However, we have yet to see an official snow snow area or snow mountain, anything of that sort. A lot of people are thinking it's about time we get some snow places added to the map, some snow POIs. However, I think it would make a lot more sense if perhaps we get a new snow point of interest or snow places on the map in potentially season seven of Fortnite because it's gonna span through November, December, and maybe part of January. To me, that just makes more sense chronologically. With that being said though, since season six is gonna run through October and November, I would highly anticipate seeing some sort of Halloween themed items in the game as well as potentially 
especially some new spooky points of interest. Of course, we have Haunted Hills right now. I would not put it past Epic to add some sort of other Halloween themed or maybe even Thanksgiving themed point of interest on the map. We can also expect to see some sort of new Halloween themed or October themed items coming into the game, maybe some pumpkin bombs or the return of the RPG that rather than a rocket shoots a pumpkin, which of course we all remember from last year, which sort of sparked the whole rocket ride craze. Now, if you guys happen to catch our last Season 6 rumor video, we talked a little bit about the mysterious pyramid-shaped item that appears in Loot Lake sometimes when you glide over it. It's not as prevalent now as it was at the beginning of the season, I think because Epic updated the map a little bit, tried to hide it a little bit more, but you guys definitely know what I'm talking about if you've paid attention to the map since the start of Season 5. When you were gliding in over Loot Lake, there was a very obvious triangle shape item hidden underneath the water that for whatever reason appeared before our eyes when we were flying over it. Perhaps that along with the different uh, October and Halloween themed skins, we get something sort of similar to a mummy or an undead mummy and maybe this would tie in with the potential rise of a pyramid in Loot Lake. Now we talked a lot about this in the last Season 6 rumor video, but it is quite possible and a lot of people have been speculating that a pyramid is going to rise out of Loot Lake, potentially take over Loot Lake in a whole and delete that point of interest from the map and replace it with some sort of ancient Egypt or Egyptian themed Point of interest instead. Some undead mummy skins or some ancient Egypt skins would be pretty cool to see in the game and they would tie in perfectly with uh, both Halloween as well as this pyramid rumor that we have going around. Now something else that I think is a very possible option for season 6 and something that not a whole lot of people have been talking about is the potential expansion of the Battle Pass. The Battle Pass has been pretty standard for the majority of the Fortnite Battle Royale seasons. Of course we're only 5 in. I believe the first ever Battle Pass only had like 35 tiers. The season 2 Battle Pass I believe had 70 and then since then seasons 3, 4, and 5 have all had 100 tiers in them. I think that it's quite possible that in season 6 the battle pass goes bigger, better, and beyond anything we've ever seen before in Fortnite as far as the battle pass goes. I'm talking maybe more tiers, maybe more unlockables, or maybe even skins that are even harder to obtain rather than just unlocking tier 100 in the battle pass. Uh, I think a pretty common theme, especially for, you know, a lot of YouTubers and content creators, whether they're streamers or video makers, is they will go in the day that the Battle Pass releases and buy every single tier. That way they can have the tier 100 skins and all of the bonus challenges as well. I think, though, that there could potentially be something coming that is even harder to unlock than just Tier 100 on the Battle Pass. Perhaps after you get Tier 100 on the Battle Pass, there's a very specific set of challenges that are harder than any other challenges we've ever seen before in order to unlock some super elusive, super secret, and super cool skin. All that I know for sure, guys, is that Season 6 is going to be the biggest season of Fortnite yet. You guys might be saying, well, why do you say that every season is a big season? Here's why Season 6 has to be so important and so vital for Fortnite. As you guys know, Season 6 is going to run through September and October and part of November which is the biggest time of the year in the gaming industry for major game releases. We've got Red Dead, we've got Forza, we've got Spider-Man, we've got Call of Duty, we've got Battlefield, all sorts of major AAA titles are releasing in October, September, and November. Meaning that there's going to be a lot of competition, especially when you have games like Call of Duty Black Ops 4, which is going to have the Blackout Battle Royale mode. You're going to have Battlefield 5, which has its own Battlefield Battle Royale mode. There's going to be a lot of heated competition come this fall and come the time span of Season 6. Meaning that Epic Games and Fortnite are going to have to do their best to keep players coming back to Fortnite. Of course, it's the biggest game in the industry right now, but you never know. Blackout could drop for Call of Duty and just blow up and just blow everybody away because it plays super, super well. Same potential here with Battlefield Battle Royale. Any of these competitors have an equal opportunity to start blowing up in the Battle Royale genre, meaning that Fortnite's going to have to bring out the big guns and make sure that it is still the king of Battle Royale. With that being said, guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to let us know by leaving a big old thumbs up on it. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe with our channel notifications turned on. That way you never miss another video. Until next time, guys, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day, and we will see you on the Battle Bus. Peace out.